Okay, so let's open up our package from Roadrunner Sports. I'm pretty sure this is the Martin Jealous that I ordered the other day. It only took him a day to get here because I actually got this package yesterday. I just haven't had a chance to open it up yet. Oh boy, it's an awfully big box for just, uh, you know, the capital of Martin Jells. Awfully noisy uh, that I ordered. Lots of bubble wrap. I'll have to save that. Probably use it for something else. Okay, so here we go. All right. So we got the uh, Gel 100, Cap 100. There's 12 of them in here. More than enough than what I'll need to get me through the rest of this training block and to have a couple extras to take with me for the marathon day. So hopefully, and I haven't looked at this, uh, they're going to have Martin Gels on the course. Now, they did last year, but I need to, I really need to double check that to make sure that that's the case again this year. And uh, also, just to remind myself where they're going to have these available, and that will determine how many I take with me. I usually take, you know, around four gels with me on the run, and I might rely on the course for one or two along the way. Um, but that's kind of my strategy. That's kind of my plan. But I do like to take you know, enough gels that if for some reason I miss one or I run through it or something happens, I drop it or something along along those lines that, you know, I have plenty to be able to get me through so I'm not in panic mode. So that's why I wear the rabbit shorts that have, you know, the pockets that I need to carry those things and my GoPro. I do keep my GoPro in, in my rabbit half tight pockets as well. And it seems to do a pretty good job holding it in place. I talked about that a while ago. Um, okay, so for today's workout, it's just, it's an easy one. It's an easy one. So I'm going to go 30 minutes with 10 minutes to cool down. So 40 minutes. And again, that's just to keep, you know, keep everything loose, keep the blood flowing, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, to make sure that, you know, I don't overdo it. Um, so that when tomorrow's more intense workout comes along, that I'll be ready for that, uh, which is Monday. It's going to be Monday. So, you know, the Boston Marathon is about three weeks away, three weeks from tomorrow, I believe. So it is coming up really fast, really fast. I'm starting to get excited about it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing those little things that I need to do that I haven't done already. Just kind of check it off my list, like making sure that I get my gels ordered. Now these came really, really quickly, but if I had to order from Martin themselves, it might've taken considerably longer. And then I'm kind of in that panic mode of, you know, where do I buy these things? Because they don't carry these uh, anywhere close to where I live. So if I want to just go buy a few, um, you know, that's really not practical for me to do that. And I hate waiting. I, I definitely can find these in Boston, uh, but I hate waiting till the last minute to pick them up because that just raises my anxiety. I like to have as many things checked off my list as possible before I get on, you know, get in the car and head towards the airport. So, all right, I'm going to get into today's workout and we'll, we'll chit chat a little bit along the way. All right, let's get this one done. Oh, it's so nice to have an easy day. So again, it's 30 minutes easy, 10 to cool down. Looking forward to just turning my legs over here and enjoying getting my day started. Um, so I've got my hydration mix in my water bottle. I just have one today because again, it's not that long of a workout, so 30 minutes. Uh, one bottle of water should be should be plenty to keep me hydrated throughout. Uh, you know, I was a little disappointed yesterday because, you know, I woke up and I had been feeling really, really good to the point where I was beginning to think about lacing up my running shoes and maybe going on a just a 10 minute jog, maybe on a treadmill, something like that. But uh my gosh, it was my leg was hurting me yesterday. So I don't know what exactly I did. I didn't do anything that I could think of that would have put any kind of undue stress on it. So I woke up today, it felt better. So hopefully it was just kind of a one-off thing. Uh so <laughs> oh my gosh. Some sometimes, most of the times these days, it feels like, you know, it's two steps forward, three steps back. Um, but I'm hopeful <laughs> that I'll be able to lace up my running shoes and uh, go for at least a short jog here soon. I don't know. I'm really kicking around the idea of uh, getting the lever system out 
next week and headed to the gym and hooking it up on a treadmill. And even if it's only for five minutes, 10 minutes, something like that to test the waters um, in a more gentle way. <laughs> so rather than just jumping on my treadmill or running out my door, you know, I can, using the lever system, I can offload a lot of my weight. And so it might be a good way just to kind of see where I'm at. The downside is it's, it takes a long time to do that. You know, my gym isn't close, so I've got to drive to get there, drive to get back. I need to set up all the equipment and all that kind of stuff for what might turn out to be, you know, a 10 minute workout. So there is that time constraint that I have um, to be able to fit all of that in into the day. So, but it might be worth it. I'd rather, I guess, do that than to go out and re-injure myself uh, to, to set it back even further and maybe, you know, potentially uh, take Boston off the table. So I don't want that to happen. You know, I want to be there right now. I'm still planning to go, but I want to be healthy on the start line enough to, so I feel confident getting through the 26.2 miles without uh, any kind of serious injury or anything along those lines. I just want to go and have a little fun. Okay, I'm going to let you go for now. Yeah, we'll chat more here. Uh, in a few minutes. Oh, so even though it's an easy effort, I definitely want to take the time to stay hydrated. You know, 30, 40 minutes isn't long in comparison to like our endurance workouts that we've been doing, but it's long enough that, uh, you know, it's important to, to keep the fluids coming. Oh, so I'm uh, about midway through and uh, just kind of daydreaming a little bit about lunch as I oftentimes do. And so today, I think I'm gonna make a, a healthy pizza. You know, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not a low carb runner, but I do try to pay attention to where my carbs are coming from. And, uh, and there's a pizza recipe that uses cauliflower as the crust. And it's, it's awesome, I love it. So regardless of whether or not it's low carb, it tastes good, so. I'm gonna put one of those together today. Um, it's cauliflower, you know, mozzarella cheese, um, probably some green peppers in there. And you know what, I might splurge and throw some pepperoni on there. Not the healthiest of food choices, but every now and then, you know, this sure tastes good and it's okay to indulge, but, so I might, uh, I might do that too. But then again, who knows? I might leave those off. Maybe just put some, uh, chopped up tomatoes or something like that on there. All right, as I finish daydreaming about lunch, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go and uh, you know we'll take a look at the overall numbers uh, when uh, when the workout is over. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging with me this long. Only a few more minutes to go. So we came to an end of that workout. Again, it was uh, 40 minutes in length in total. So boy, that time seemed to go by really fast today. I guess I was just kind of daydreaming a little bit about Boston and the trip and thinking back on some really great memories last year. You know, I did run it, as many of you know, unless you're, unless you're brand new to the channel and you don't know, uh, when I ran Boston last year, 
I got injured then as well, but it was only about, I don't know, 10 days, two weeks prior to the race. And I had tendonitis that flared up in my ankle and it was bad. It was really, really bad. Um, so that's how I, that's how I ran Boston last year. And, uh, it was, it was pretty painful afterwards, especially, but it was, you know, it was hurting me during the race as well and definitely impacted my performance. But the funny thing is, you know, when I, when I think back and you get, I get a big smile on my face and I, I, I think about all of the fun that I had, you know, I don't, I don't really think about that. So, you know, it was, uh, it was just a great time. And that's what I, and, and that's what comes to my mind uh, as I reflect back on last year. So if you guys have any questions about the Boston Marathon, you know, procedurally or um, anything along those lines, you know, feel free to shoot them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, you know, I might do a dedicated video just to a Q and A about Boston, um, you know, my experience in it last year. Okay, so uh, today I went a total of 42 minutes. So I spun my legs out a couple extra minutes there at the end. Total distance was 11.92 uh, miles, 261.3 average power. I didn't expect that to be very high today since it was an easy effort. And I was turning my legs over at 73 RPM. So, all right, you guys, that's it for today's video. And, you know, thanks for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall. Run strong. Be kind to of one another. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ooh, I'm going to go shower, stretch out a little bit. Maybe stretch a little bit first, then take a shower. And then I'm going to make that pizza. It's uh, it's almost noon, so it's my lunchtime. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. Take care.